Hey guys, since my last video on Wi-Fi Halo, I've been keeping an eye out for other interesting Halo products, and about a month ago I nearly leaped out of my chair when I saw that LilyGo made an ESP32 development board with Wi-Fi Halo built in. But don't leap out of your chair and buy one just yet, let's go over what we have here. I have a few other LilyGo dev boards with the ESP32 microcontroller, and I find them pretty jam-packed with peripherals, and they're generally well documented. I've made a few projects with the Arduino IDE and the ESP32, so having the flexibility to make my own projects that can utilize Halo Wireless in a battery-powered package made me pretty excited. And I definitely don't have a problem accumulating these expressive dev boards. If we just look around the product page, it seems we have Ethernet, an 18650 battery holder, a camera header, the ESP32 microcontroller, and finally the TXW8301 Halo chipset like the one in the AliExpress Halo gear that I tried in the last video. If we pop over to the GitHub page and start reading, at first glance this diagram looks pretty interesting. In this mode 1, we have the Halo module connected to the ESP32, and in the other mode, the Halo module is connected to the Ethernet port. And you can switch modes by changing out the flash chip containing the different firmware. This diagram is what made me jump on the device, because in mode 1 I assumed that the ESP32 would be running like it would in an Ethernet dev board, but with the Ethernet lines tied to the Halo chipset. So it should be able to do regular communication over the network, something the ESP32 is very good at. Maybe even let us use it as a Halo to 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi AP like another device we looked at in the other video. For mode 2, I assume that the ESP32's networking wouldn't be connected to the Halo chipset's Ethernet because it would be in bridge mode with the physical port, but we could still send commands to the Halo chipset over serial. Of course, those were assumptions, and both of them are wrong. And this thing is basically useless for the purpose of having a Halo radio on a dev board. So let's see what we get with mode 1. If we look closer at the examples, we see that the connection to the ESP32 in this mode is simply serial access. So that means all we could really do is blast little bits of data over the air between the microcontrollers. Okay, so that might have some uses, but when you have a wireless chip capable of up to 15 megabits of real-time network traffic, being limited to small fragments of data at serial speeds between devices is insane. Especially when you have a camera on board and a microcontroller designed for internet communications, hosting embedded web servers, and so on. Besides sending data between devices, in this mode, the code running on the ESP32 also has access to the command line. So you can do useful things like send the AT commands in your programs to set up SSIDs, channel widths, pair it with another device, and so on. Okay, so is mode 2 any more useful? Yes, but actually no. This boat essentially turns this dev board into one of those dumb network bridges that I looked at in the last video. You can connect one side to a network, and the other side to a hardwired network device, like an IP camera, a computer, or a Wi-Fi access point, and have all the fun benefits of long-range 900MHz Halo Wireless, but now with a battery to make it a bit more portable. Sweet! But what can the ESP32 do now? Well, a lot of things, just nothing to do with the Halo chipset anymore. In order to access the serial console, you now have to use a separate USB port on the board to send commands to the Halo chip from your computer. There's no way to send commands from the ESP to the Halo chip in this mode. I was at least hoping I could write some little embedded web server on the ESP that I could use to get the status of the Halo chip and change settings, but that's just not possible. They're on the same board, like 5 centimeters apart, and they're just doing their own thing. Even their newer example diagrams that they added after I bought it are just weird. What the heck is going on here? You have a pair of drones, each with two boards connected over Ethernet, so they can relay a signal from a device on the ground. I guess that's one way to make your own line of sight over a mountain, at least until the drone batteries die. Honestly, I think the boards would almost be more useful without the ESP32 on them. Maybe with a Wi-Fi AP system on a chip bolted on? Instead they could be a portable Ethernet bridge kit. Anyway, that's all I had to say about these for now. I bought two and I might just use them for an Ethernet bridge. Maybe I'll try joining them to an Ethernet ESP32 board if I want to do any development work with them. Because otherwise they're pretty useless in mode 1. If anyone else finds nifty things using Halo, do share them in the comments and maybe I'll do a follow up. Until then, thanks for watching.